Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sadia. This is Beauty in All Places. I know I haven't uploaded in a while, but please bear with me. I am doing the best that I can. So today for breakfast, I wanted to start with an acai bowl. I lost the footage for this, so I'm just showing you guys a mock of, of what I did to get to this point. Um, this acai blend was really good. I added some bananas, some strawberries, and some mangoes to this. Then I added some chocolates and some more chocolate of a different variation some chia seeds and some coconut flakes. I'm just adding some water to this peppermint tea bag. And this is what this looks like. This grilled cheese, I mean, if you haven't seen how I make grilled cheese, check out my other what I eat in a day video. This was the start of the breakfast show and oh my gosh, I was happily surprised. So I'm starting by washing these potatoes for lunch. I'm gonna dry them and then I'm going to slice them up uh, vertically to make really big potato like wedges. And that's what they turned out looking like. Then I transfer that onto a baking tray and I'm just gonna drizzle a bit of extra virgin olive oil, some salt, some paprika, and some garlic powder onto this. Then I'm gonna massage that in very nicely to coat all of the wedges. Then I'm going to put that into the oven at 400 degrees Celsius. Here I'm just slicing up some bell peppers to add to the burger that we're going to make. So we're making homemade veggie burgers today. You guys know how much I love to do my little slicing b-rolls for you. So we're just going to transfer the veggies into this bowl and into this other bowl I'm going to add two cans of black beans. Then we're going to add some oats. This is quick oats. We're adding back into this bowl the chopped veggies. We're gonna add some salt, some black pepper, some garlic powder, some cumin, some ginger powder, and some paprika into this bowl and then we're just going to mix that in as best as we can and then here I'm just using a mason jar to mash and combine the ingredients together focusing on mashing all the beans so that it can make a paste like consistency and adding some nutritional yeast and your consistency should be like this it should be able to be folded together in a hot pan, I'm just adding some recycled oil and we're just gonna form our patties from like a flat spare and flatten it into like a burger. And we're just gonna add that to our pan. So it should look like this. I'm just gonna add that to the pan and let that fry up. Here I'm just adding some of my famous bang bang sauce that are beef burger meat. Then I added some vegan pepper jack cheese, some lettuce, some tomato, and our bun. And this is what lunch turned out to look like. This was so delicious. I felt like I was at like a first class vegan restaurant and I was eating their house made burgers. It was so good. So for dinner, I wanted to make something high protein and like comfort food type situation. So I chopped up some veggies and in this bowl, I added some avocado, squeezed some lemons. Then I'm gonna add salt and black pepper and we're just gonna mash that. And this is going to be like our sauce 
for or dinner. You'll see. Just watch. You'll see. I, I'm, I'm, trust me, I'm not gaslighting you. This is the, one of the most delicious things. So I lost the footage for the starchy part of my uh, meal, but the pasta that we're going to be making is actually edamame pasta, which is high in protein, very fibrous, and very nutritious. So back to this footage, I'm just adding some garlic, we added grape tomatoes, and we're just adding some seasonings, salt, black pepper, cumin, garlic powder, and some ginger powder, and we're just um, combining that. Then I added the edamame pasta and tried to uh, combine that with the other ingredients as well. I'm just drizzling over some lemon juice and adding some additional salt. And then we're gonna add our avocado and mix that in together. Oh my gosh, I know this looks like a weird combination, but oh my gosh, it was so good. To garnish, I added some um, dried parsley and some sesame seeds and drizzled over some lemon juice. Oh my gosh, this was so fresh, so clean, so lightweight, yet so filling. I love the, the acidity of the tomatoes the smoothness of the avocados. It was just so delicious. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you so much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and come back every Wednesday and Fridays for more wonderful videos. Ta-ta!